Well, since the others are at the hotel, I have to go look for an engine. It's a little hard to come around. Oh, looks like there's one coming now. There you are, Mr. Conductor. Where have you been? Oh, Thomas the Tank Engine, I presume. Yes, Mr. Conductor. I'm Thomas. Thomas the Tank Engine. Wait, why are you calling me Mr. Conductor? You need me because there's danger on Sodor? Wait, what? Mr. Conductor, how did you know? I don't know. I, I randomly thought about it. But turns out there is uh, danger at Sodor, so I'll make so I'll make sure everything is a okay. Let me just get inside your cab. A big bully diesel is back, Mr. Conductor. You had better be careful. Don't worry, Thomas. Me, Corso, Breed, and Stiff, we'll take care of that diesel. And I'll hope that Lightning McQueen and Freddy Fazbear can do the job. We'll get rid of that bully diesel. Okay, duo charges. It's time to do our action. Sir, we told you before, it's DJ. It's home chowder. Well, I told you before, I don't have time to say both names, okay? Whatever, boss. I told you not to call me that. Who's your victim, sir? It's that purple tank engine. His name is Charlie. And I got a plan to do, to eliminate him. There he is. Look at that creeper. He's the most unbearable engine to ever exist. So you know he can hear you, right? I know. But I'm in stealth mode. No one can hear me. But now, it's time for my plan. Hey, Charlie! Charlie! Thomas, what are you doing at this time of night? This isn't the time for fun. Charlie, first of all, I'm not Thomas. I am the fastest diesel in the world. And I'm sorry to bug your work. I thought you were a fun engine. I guess I was right, and you were wrong. Oh, you're tired, huh? You don't look tired to me. You're having a busy night, Charlie. But Charlie, I have a surprise for you. You see those signal points behind you? In that sighting, there is a surprise. It's a candy-making truck. And I think you're going to like it. Oh, Thomas, it's just a good shed with some trucks left there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Good riddance, Charlie. Oh man, Foxy, those Cheerios tasted gross. Yeah, you said it, Bonnie. That was the worst cereal I ever had in my life. Oh, come on, guys, it's healthy. I agree with Bonnie and Foxy, Freddy. It was by far the worst cereal I have ever had. Oh, you're being such a baby. I'm not a baby. Yeah, you are. But still, Freddy, what was that light from the office? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, I got it. Um, a light. Kind of like this, but there's no light bulb. True, Foxy. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, right. I, I remember. That light 
must have been a, a symbol to something. That could be a, that could be right, Foxy. A symbol? What kind of symbol was that? It was just a a light bulb that was molded into the ceiling. Yeah, well, maybe it's not a symbol. Maybe that's because it doesn't have a symbol. I guess the symbol is in our imagination. You're right, Freddy, you're right. Yeah, maybe there's more. The more we find those symbols, it could unlock something to somewhere that we don't, that, that it, it unlocks in the place where we don't know. True. I wish we could find more of those lights. I guess we looked at it. That means we collected it. That could be true. I, I just, I just wish that. Uh, what was that? Sounds like an ambulance. What's going on? Let me check. Oh. My. Gosh. What? Oh no, what happened? I don't know, Chica. Most likely a train ran into those tankers last night. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> you, what's that smell? It wasn't me. I showered today. Yeah, and I showered last night. Maybe you didn't shower. That's a lie. I showered last night. Really? Prove it. All right, here you go. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, oh, okay. Where is that coming from? I don't know. The chicken sees a green tank engine with glasses. He was the dirtiest little engine she had ever seen. Hello. Wish the new engine happily. My name's Whiff, because I'm a bit smelly. Oh, okay. Yeah, no wonder you're the smelliest engine. Never in my life would see a smelly engine like him. Now, Chica, be nice. Be nice to engines. What? Chica, where are you going? Oh, great. Sorry, Whiff. We can't work with you now. Yeah, we'll be right back. Hmm. That was a fun ride to Thomas, and I heard that there was a killing last night. I mean, uh, a train was injured. A, a train crashed last night, which is strange. Uh, um... Who are you? I'm Lightning McQueen. Who are you? I'm Kale. Oh yeah, you're, you're the guy that rescued the Titan, right? Wait, you saw my movie? Yep. If you don't like it, um, I understand. No, no, I actually like, I really like the movie. And who is this third member? Someone got the note first before I got it. So who is it? Who, me? What the? Well, I am Freddy Fuzzbear. There's no doubt about that. I'm a super devising feline. I mean, animatronic. And I'll make sure that you're... I'm not good with the rhyming. Not really. Even though I'm a fun animatronic. Look, I'm a bear that can talk. That should be enough for you people. It was real. My gosh, I'm a talking bear. He's talking. Obviously. What's in the Powerade am I drinking? That's the same usual stuff. Wait, Mr. Bear. Where did you come from? Hmm. How do I put this? When the mummy bear and a daddy bear love each other, and there comes a baby Freddy Fuzz- No, 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 not that. Where did you come from? 
My pizzeria, what do you think? <laughs> no, no. I mean, how did you get to Sodor? Me and my friends rode a boat here. Look, we've been here for like one day, and no one has offered me a drink. So, I guess no one, Mr. Likes Freddy Fazbear. Hmm. Oh, I feel sorry for you, Freddy. Um, ooh, would you like some Gatorade or Powerade? Powerade? Bleh, no! My, my, my animatronic body cannot handle the energy from it. Whatever. Uh, what the? Hello! Surf's up! Whoa! What the? Nice office you got here, by the way. Now this place will be a nice. This place actually comforts your Sivian. Yeah. All those stripes are a train wreck. I feel like I should never drink Powerade again. That's not the power ray that's causing it, Breed. Well, it's a great thing that Charlie's dead. We will never have to see him again. <laughs> what the? He's he's a machine. Who, Freddy Fazbear? Yeah. That's not what I expected. Kale, where are you going? I gotta follow where this bear's going. I'll be right back. All right. Kale, where's Freddy? I don't know, McQueen. Wait, what? There's more! That's a chicken and a fox and a rabbit. Do they even notice that I'm alive? Hey, you hear me? Huh? Wh what the? That car is alive! Why, you think it is, Her Herbie the Volkswagen? No. Oh! Foxy, I know who that is. That's Lightning McQueen. Uh, are you... Are you Bonnie? Yeah. I thought you were a hippo. A what? A uh, hippo. I, I'm a bunny. Okay, settle down, Bonnie. What's up with him? Uh, I don't know, human. I'm Kale. Kale. He has sugar rush. That doesn't mean I'm diabetic, Foxy. I know you're healthy. What is wrong with them? I'm not sure. All right, I'm back. Where have you been? I searched around Sodor. I did it for nothing. <laughs> Oh, man. He's at it again. Sugar Rush? No. He's just curious about new places. He always does that. All right, Kayla McQueen. Let's see what the old Faz Phenomener has to say. You mean the Faznometer? The Phenomener? Yeah, it measures how fun you are. <laughs> uh, that's connected to you, Kale. I know. Let's see. Okay, it's loading. What? Um. Come on, work. Ah, hero, a hero human. Now you, McQueen. Ah. All right, testing him. Floating. How is taking so long? Wh what? Uh, what happened? It's privacy reasons. I can't tell you what happened. That ain't going to change. <laughs> Just as I thought, everything's all good. Kale, okay, you're a hero, and McQueen, you're a hero that defeat. A three-headed monster? Hmm, that sounds familiar. But you're all good, you're all normal. Normal people is fine by me. That'll be seven hundred dollars. Who's got that kind of money? So, what do we do? Well, there are two treatments that I recommend. One is a series of painful shots injected into your abdomen and kneecaps. 
and the other involves a musical member. How many shots, by the way? Oh, I just make some new friends. Well, at least no engine got scared of us. They were confused. Yeah, at least so. Yeah. What should we do? Should we tour more? No, Freddy. We're confusing the trains. Oh, right. Too bad we gotta do some work tomorrow, Freddy. Just think. We'll, we'll do better at the train yard in no time. I hope. Far away on Sodor, the steam engines were confident, cheerful, and determined not to be bullied by diesel. Only James, who now felt really useful too, was complaining. Wobbly wheels, puffy pistons. Thomas, I should have collected Mr. Conductor. James is right, little Thomas. <laughs> Collecting Mr. Conductor is an important job, hmm? Important is big. James is a big engine, hmm? Yeah. You, Thomas, are small. Small, 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 teeny, weeny, weeny. And I, I'm a big blue engine who knows everything. <laughs> Bossy sprockets! All that steam has gone to your funnel. Door charges. There they are. There he is. There's Thomas. We killed Charlie. I'm pretty sure we'll kill the other engines too before, before Thomas. He's the most cringiest train I've ever seen in my life. But I want you guys to be quiet. I don't want any engine to hear me. What's important is to stand up on our own wheels to Diesel. Toby's right. Diesel knows that the lost engine in the legend really exists. What engine? What legend? Of an engine whose magic makes her more powerful than Diesel will ever be. That's why he wants to find her. Then we'd better find her first. Leave it to the big engines, Percy. Little engines can do big things, especially when they have nice blue paint like me. He, th he thinks he can. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Because I think Thomas is useless on Sodor. I mean, Sir Topham Hat doesn't know that. But once he gets damaged, Sir Topham Hat will definitely know that Thomas is a useless engine. Oh my gosh, there's Harold. <laughs> oh gosh. I, well, I never ever had power on my shiny paint. You gotta be careful next time, sir. Oh, shut up, DJ. Gotta come up with a better plan next time. Let's get out of sight before Thomas sees us.